Happy Saturday, Texas. It is time to get cute, time to get up, time to get out. We are ready for another Saturday right here on the Connect Network TV. And we're excited. We've got you covered today with some of our favorite local hotspots and Texas entrepreneurs that are sure to get you excited. First, we are going to kick off today's episode with a friend of mine that is so dear and near to my heart. And she's gorgeous and she's been so successful. And if you've been in the Austin area for a while, chances are that you know all about her incredible restaurant, Havana. So they bring the authentic taste of the island at least right here to Austin. She is here to tell us all about it. Welcome, Yesbel. Yesbel. Hello. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Thank you for having me. You know, I, you make me hungry. Wendy has talked about you and your restaurant so many times. I'm really honored to have you on the show today. So you all have been in existence. You've been open since 2001. Um, you've also, you also were right in the heart of South by Southwest. Uh, Havana was because they've had one more, more than one location, Natalie. And in the heart of South by Southwest, I don't know how they survived that because it was <laughs> incredibly crazy. It's great, but it's crazy. Um, that's a really long time and a lot to work with, um, especially in the restaurant business, yes, Bell. So give us a little bit of insight um, on actually running a successful business. When we spoke about opening a restaurant, we said, in my mind, I was just going to go in in the morning, collect the deposit and go make the deposit. That was my idea of what owning a business was. I had no idea. Yeah. So later did I know and found out real quick that that was not going to happen and I was never going to have a day off. I would go home at 3 a.m. But then we had private parties and I was pumping 400 tacos and Bloody Marys by, you know, 10 a.m. the next morning. So and then, as you know, that's, um, you know, spring break for the kids. Part of uh being a business owner for me was juggling motherhood and mm. owning a restaurant mm. and the part of a woman that we always feel guilty. If I'm not at work, I'm neglecting the business. If I'm not with my daughter, I'm, am I not a good mother? Right. Uh, but it worked out. It all worked out. And the she kids understood. amazing. Like we, we can do it. And that that's what makes women's history month so special and being able to sit down with women like you. And like Wendy said, especially for the restaurant industry, that is a tricky industry. You have been here for decades now and it's just very inspiring. You have been a big part of your patrons' uh, biggest events. Uh, so your customers have become family. I know you and I have talked about that many, many times, and it also makes for long-term clients and business. So let's talk about the value in building your business uh, with these generations. It's, it's, that is the most rewarding part of my business is seeing generations, like looking back and remembering that four-year-old girl sitting with her little dress coming up, uh, to the restaurant after church and then their parents contacted me because they want to stop, have a reservation for 20 30 people to uh, to celebrate their high school graduation and then i've had these teenagers that are introduced to the restaurant and suddenly they're getting married and they're having their wedding uh catered by us and then later on their children's baptism uh we just i just I have an amazing, very dear customer of mine that just turned 100 years old. We sent her a video from the restaurant, um, from from the employees and her Havana family. It those moments are priceless. Just priceless. Yes. 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 Well, yes, Belle, I got to tell you, I'm so honored to have you here. Next time I'm I'm in Austin. Okay, just I'm telling you now. Write it down. I'm oh, coming to Havana. So come on by. To check see. out the Havana Beach Bar, uh, okay. which is open our patio, and we're gonna be featuring um, we're gonna be featuring DJs and bands, and um, we're gonna be doing some farmers markets out there. We're gonna have a crawfish boil 
on uh, April 16th as well. We're going to be doing some events back there. Nice. So for those that, that are just learning of Havana, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows about Havana, but um, can you share with us your hours of operation and anything where they can go to your website as well? Okay, so it's um, Havana is located at 2728 South Congress Avenue, okay. uh, 78704, area code. I'm um, not area code, zip code, sorry. And uh, we are open... Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. and Saturday and Sundays up until 11 uh, p.m. HavanaAustin.com is our Havana website. HavanaAustin.com. You guys have been able to see the website. We've been we've been showing you out, showing everybody a little bit about uh, what you have to offer. We're grateful for your time today. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Well, coming up next, yes, Wendy, Havana, here we come. And uh, yes, yeah, stay with us. More fun continues. Laura Weisman is pulling up after the break. If you are a real estate agent, um, but you're not seeing the cash, she has some business tips for you. Be right back.